Here are seven Law of Attraction Master Secrets to help you manifest the life that you desire. Hi, I'm Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And I have to say, first and foremost, we are thrilled and we are grateful because we're getting letters every single day from people who state, you know, I listen to your podcast every day and it's helped me tremendously. That's what we're here for, to empower your life, to help you achieve the happiness, the joy, the abundance, the love that you desire and you absolutely deserve. Today, oh yes, we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. So high flyers, today we're talking about seven master secrets. Now, oftentimes these secrets are left out by law of attraction gurus and teachers, but they're so important. They're essential for manifesting the life that you truly desire for manifesting the money you desire, the love you crave and the health that you absolutely need and depend on. So I'm going to share these secrets with you relatively fast today. I want you to keep up with me, but more importantly, I insist that you apply them because you know what that means? If you apply these master secrets, it means, oh yeah, you're going to do well. You're going to manifest beyond your wildest dreams. So the first one, the first master secret is, ah, oh, yeah, a burning desire. I mean, you've got to have a burning. Don't get up in the morning and go, I, I want to make a million dollars in my life. Oh, wow, I got to go back to bed. Or get up and go, you know, I'm trying to, to manifest a, a soulmate relationship, but I just don't believe it's going to work out for me. It never works out. That's not a burning desire. A burning desire is where you are pumped up, where you are fired up, where you're excited, where you're motivated. And I believe that the first hour of the day, you own that first hour of the day and everything else flows, but you have to have a burning desire for what you are doing, what you're creating, what you're building and what you are attracting. I mean, that desire has got to burn baby burn. Master secret number two to the law of attraction is leave the how up to the universe, leave it up to the universe. You know, many times we set out plans and understand I am in no way telling you not to plan. I am in no way telling you not to take action. I believe that's essential. But oftentimes the plans that we set into action, you know, they change. Something comes up, something unexpected happens and boom, there you are a new opportunity because the universe is your partner. The universe is co-creator. So, a number of times people will, especially in relationships, they'll say, well, he's, he's doing this. And, and, and I saw her on Facebook and she's doing that. And I go, why are you worried about what they're doing? Focus on your burning desire, focus on your passion, focus on your vision and allow the universe to make it happen for you. I have to tell you an interesting little story. One day we were taking a drive and it was a, a fairly long drive, but it was in the city and there was a detour and I'm going, Oh no, we're not going to make the game in time. We're going to a baseball game. So we took this detour and around the detour, there was a little antique shop and I had never seen it before. And if you know anything about me 
or Rachel, we love antiques. And we like junk too, but we love antiques. Anyway, we pulled over and I said, hey, we're late anyway. Let's go into the antique store. In the antique store, I purchased a coin for about $10. It turned out to be worth close to $5,000. I didn't plan for that. I didn't know it was coming. I didn't expect it. The universe did. So listen, you don't always need to know how things are going to work out. By the way, the important part of the story I almost left out. At that particular time in my life, I needed an extra $5,000. Trust me, I sold the coin. I got the 5,000. That's how it works. You see, the universe figured a way uh, for me to get that money. I didn't know how it was going to happen. Neither do you. That's okay. Accept it. It works. The key word here is trust. Oh, you've got to trust the universe. Master secret number three is affirmations 24 seven affirmations 24 seven. What do I mean by that? What I mean is as you begin doing an affirmation over and over again, money comes to me easily without effort. It flows into my life. Money is too easy to make. I'm like a magnet for money or whatever it is you're focused on. As you're doing that affirmation, it's almost like you become the affirmation. You literally transform your current self into a new version of you, a higher version of yourself, because you're doing that affirmation so much, so often. When I take on a new affirmation, I, I expect that my mind, my subconscious is going to give me some resistance. I expect that I'm going to have my doubts and fears and limiting beliefs. I understand that's going to happen, but I also know how to deal with it. I hit that affirmation 50, 100, 200, 300, 500 times a day. I'm not keeping track, but I am doing that affirmation until at some point the affirmation is doing me. High flyers, master secret number four. This is so important. People will set up affirmations. They'll create vision boards. They'll set goals and then they'll use negative language, language that is disempowering language that puts you down. Oh, I'm not very good at that. I can't do that. I've never done that before. How do I know I can do that? How do I know it's going to work? That's negative thinking and negative words. And sometimes, we use negative words, you know, just kind of automatically, but they go into our subconscious mind and they reaffirm a negative mindset. So choose the words that you're going to use carefully. And you might even want to make a list of negative words, sit down with your wife or your husband or your boyfriend or girlfriend or your friends, and make a list of words that you use on a regular basis that are negative. Sometimes you don't hear them, but they hear them and write them down and then cross them out and look for other words that you can use in their place that are positive, that are optimistic, that are resourceful, and that will help you rise to the highest version of yourself. Master secret number five is to do what inspires you. What really inspires you? When you, when you go back to a time when you were 15 or 16 or 14, and you were thinking about what you were going to become, what you were going to do with your life, how you were going to live your life. When you go back to that time, how is it different from today? Have you given up? 
Have you stopped living a life that's inspired? It doesn't take much. Pick out an inspirational book and read a chapter or two. Listen to an inspirational speaker or simply meditate and see the highest version of yourself doing what you feel inspired to do. Some people climb mountains. I'm not big on climbing mountains. I ask them, why, why do you want to climb the top of that mountain? Because I'm inspired to reach the top. You know, I have a friend who used to be a, a, a stunt plane driver, do all those crazy stunts, roll around, do this. And I asked him, I said, Steve, why do you do that? I'm just curious because I'm inspired. I just feel like I'm alive more than I've ever been when I'm experiencing those rolls and those turns and all of that. Do what inspires you. Your life is filled with inspiration, inspirational moments. What we oftentimes refer to as peak experiences, look for the peak experience in every day and make it inspirational. Number six, form a close, tight, unbreakable bond with source energy, with the universe, with God, with Jesus, with Buddha, whatever or however you see divine source or whatever images you might use to help you understand divine source. Some people have uh, incredible connections with a saint and they're able to do incredible things because they have this relationship with a saint or with an angel. Whatever doorway or path you take to source energy, create that bond, allow source to pour through you. Oh, you're going to be inspired. You're going to come up with new ideas, new opportunities. It's wonderful. And number seven, and perhaps this is the most important master secret. Everything you do leads to something bigger. So if you do 20 little things during a day, it leads to a bigger week and the week leads to a year and several years lead to a lifetime. leave a legacy, leave something behind for those who will follow you that they might learn from your life, that they may benefit from the life you lived, whether it's a life filled with love and passion or a life filled with curiosity and science or a life filled with adventure and challenges leave a legacy. When you think about what you desire to do with your life, ask yourself, how will this leave a legacy? And sometimes listen, high flyers, the legacy only has to be to your family or your children. Maybe one of them will leave a legacy to the world because of the things you taught them. You, you know, you don't realize how important you are, how much influence you have in the world. Oftentimes we think of ourselves as small little cogs in a very big wheel, but the truth is you are the wheel. Oh yeah. Have a great day now because you absolutely deserve it. Bye-bye now.